How does Cosentix help you get control of your symptoms? Let's put it into context. Imagine you are practicing tennis with a tennis ball machine serving you balls. The balls represent IL-17A, one of the multiple molecules that is believed to play a role in inflammation in people with ankylosing spondylitis. Although some IL-17A is normal, when there's an overproduction of IL-17A, your body becomes overwhelmed. This may lead to damaging inflammation, causing you to feel symptoms like back pain, stiffness, and reduced mobility. If left untreated, your symptoms can progress, and the increased inflammation can cause fusion in your spine. Cosentix specifically targets and blocks IL-17A. Cosentix can help you get back into the swing of things. Indications. Cosentix secukinumab is a prescription medicine used to treat adults with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis that involves large areas or many areas of the body and who may benefit from taking injections or pills, systemic therapy, or phototherapy, treatment using ultraviolet or UV light, alone or with systemic therapy. Cosentix is also used to treat adults with active psoriatic arthritis and active ankylosing spondylitis. Important safety information. Do not use Cosentix if you have had a severe allergic reaction to secukinumab or any of the other ingredients in Cosentix. See the medication guide for a complete list of ingredients. Cosentix is a medicine that affects your immune system. Cosentix may increase your risk of having serious side effects, such as infections. Cosentix may lower the ability of your immune system to fight infections and may increase your risk of infections. Your doctor should check you for tuberculosis, TB, before starting treatment with Cosentix. If your doctor feels that you are at risk for TB, you may be treated with medicine for TB before you begin treatment with Cosentix and during treatment with Cosentix. Your doctor should watch you closely for signs and symptoms of TB during treatment with Cosentix. Do not take Cosentix if you have an active TB infection. Before starting Cosentix, tell your doctor if you are being treated for an infection, have an infection that does not go away or that keeps coming back, have TB or have been in close contact with someone with TB, think you have an infection, or have symptoms of an infection, such as fever, sweats, or chills, muscle aches, cough, shortness of breath, blood in your phlegm, weight loss, warm, red, or painful skin or sores on your body, diarrhea or stomach pain, burning when you urinate or urinate more often than normal. After starting Cosentix, call your doctor right away if you have any signs of infection listed above. Do not use Cosentix if you have any signs of infection unless you are instructed to by your doctor. Inflammatory Bowel Disease New cases of inflammatory bowel disease, or flare-ups, can happen with Cosentix and can sometimes be serious. If you have inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, or Crohn's disease, tell your doctor if you have worsening disease symptoms during treatment with Cosentix or develop new symptoms of stomach pain or diarrhea. Serious Allergic Reactions Serious allergic reactions can occur. Get emergency medical help right away if you get any of the following symptoms. Feeling faint, swelling of your face, eyelids, lips, mouth, tongue, or throat, trouble breathing, or throat tightness, chest tightness, or skin rash. If you have a severe allergic reaction, do not give another injection of Cosentix. Before starting Cosentix, tell your doctor if you have any of the conditions or symptoms listed above for infections. Have inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis are allergic to latex, the needle caps contain latex, have recently received or are scheduled to receive an immunization, vaccine. People who take Cosentix should not receive live vaccines, have any other medical conditions, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. It is not known if Cosentix can harm your unborn baby. You and your doctor should decide if you will use Cosentix. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed? It is not known if Cosentix passes into your breast milk. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Know the medicines you take. Keep a list of your medicines to show your doctor and pharmacist when you get a new medicine. How should I use Cosentix? 
See the detailed instructions for use that comes with your Cosentix for information on how to prepare an injected dose of Cosentix and how to properly throw away, dispose of, used Cosentix Senso-ready pens and pre-filled syringes. Use Cosentix exactly as prescribed by your doctor. If your doctor decides that you or a caregiver may give your injections of Cosentix at home, you should receive training on the right way to prepare and inject Cosentix. Do not try to inject Cosentix yourself until you or your caregiver has been shown how to inject Cosentix by your doctor or nurse. The most common side effects of Cosentix include cold symptoms, diarrhea, and upper respiratory infections. These are not all of the possible side effects of Cosentix. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088.